Are your butt muscles stiff or sore when you get up after sitting for a long period of time? Today I'll talk about a different type of butt pain, also known as piriformis syndrome. I'm Nurse Wong, and this is Butt Talks. Piriformis muscle is located in the buttocks close to the hip joint. It is the biggest of the six hip rotator muscles. Piriformis syndrome is a disorder that causes pain and soreness of the muscle when the sciatic nerve is compressed. If you have problems sitting on one cheek, muscle spasms near your hips, or sharp pain, tingling, and numbness when rotating your hip, you probably have this condition. Here are my five tips for treating this pain. Number one, move around. Odds are with this recent pandemic, you've been spending too much time on your butt. Your intense sessions of studying, gaming, or working in front of a computer without breaks can be a great recipe for butt pain. Try taking breaks every hour by walking around for five to 15 minutes. Muscles are made to be used. By moving around, you're activating your muscles and taking a load off your butt from all that sitting. Number two, stretch and exercise. Stretch and warm up before you do any strenuous exercises is very important. Don't be that weekend warrior trying to catch up and trying to perform beyond your limits when you've been that ultimate couch potato all through the week. Exercising and stretching should be done regularly throughout the week. Aim for 20 to 30 minutes of exercise every day. Watch your videos on anal pain to learn more about specific stretches for your butt pain. Number three, heat and ice. By icing your muscle, this helps decrease the inflammation and breaks up the lactic acid buildup which causes the soreness. Applying heat to your muscles allows them to further relax and break up the tension. I have a simple technique. Use both, heat and ice, and this will calm down the inflammation and relax the muscles. First, try to avoid the activity that triggers the pain. Secondly, lay down to rest and alternate using ice and heat on the painful area. Do not apply the ice pack directly on the skin as it can do more harm than good. Instead, wrap the ice pack in a thin piece of fabric and apply it no longer than 15 minutes at a time. Do this two or three times a day. In terms of heat, wait 30 minutes after icing before you put a heating pad in the same area. Make sure that the heating pad is set on the medium setting as you do not want to burn your delicate body. Also, remember not to apply it longer than 15 minutes at a time. Number four, massage. Massaging the muscles allows the release of lactic acid and tension. Sit or lie down on some tennis or lacrosse balls, then firmly roll them over your inner and outer butt cheeks. Go slow if it's painful. A little at a time is best. Give yourself a break, and if it hurts, go in another direction. Remember to go in intervals. Rome was not built in a day. Number five, medications. Sometimes after all these steps, your butt still may be in pain. Taking certain medications for your butt pain might be the last remaining puzzle piece. Some medications do not require prescription, such as the anti-inflammatory like Motrin or Advil. However, you may need a prescription medication, so talk with a medical professional to learn which medication is right for you. Lastly, if you can't get relief from all these steps, have your primary physician refer you to a physical therapist an orthopedic sports medicine physician or a colorectal doctor who can further evaluate the pain in your body. This type of pain in your asset is not life-threatening, but requires self-awareness, education, and medical treatment for relief. If this video has helped you, even a little, like and subscribe. This helps our channel grow, and your butt will thank you. If you like our video, press the like button below Comment on what you want to learn more about next. For more tips and tricks from Butt Talks, subscribe to our channel. Have a great poop day!